Hey, it's Allison and Tone. How are you? Um, we're here with Sunshine Girls Painting and just really happy that you're tuning in and checking us out. And uh, I cannot begin to tell you how much I love the community and the support and how much appreciation I have for um, for the life that I've been given because of the support that we've got from our community. So for those of you who don't know, I was a single mom on welfare when I started my company. And because we have just had this overwhelming support of people in the community and people trusting our company, we've been able to create this really great life. And Tone is moving into a partnership position, which is super exciting. And so it's not just been that you guys have given um, us a great life. Like this is a legacy. You've actually contributed to his future uh, family and um, maybe their future as well and so that's the really fantastic thing about family businesses is that we get to do it and so one of the things that we talk about is the things that we have learned from previous years and I think it is so important that we do this and we actually do this with more than just the year as a whole when we have a job we also go okay so what worked and what didn't work so we are constantly tweaking and trying to do better mm -hmm. so that we can really create the best possible experience um, for both of us, right? Because when we enter into an agreement with you to paint your place, it is really about this interaction that we're having and we really like to create these win-win situations. And uh, just as a quick reminder though, I know it's only February and I'm really sorry about talking so far in advance, but summer is coming and winter is almost gone. And if you're gonna want any exterior painting done, just pick up the phone, give us a shout. You can also type in paint, uh, um, below and we will give you an option of connecting with us so that we can get in there and book a paint job for you before summer gets crazy busy because I think we're already almost half booked for the summer at least half booked and so we don't want to miss out on protecting your home and making it beautiful so not yeah so we look at things that over the year that we've learned and then we talk about things uh, um, or on a day-to-day -day basis like what did we learn what did we learn this summer what did we learn this off season and so there's all these different um, gradations of that and yeah. uh, and I encourage you guys to do the same thing and what I really enjoy about it is it gets us present and always just trying to be the best version of ourselves so in our last year uh, and my challenge to you is to do this for yourself, right? So in the last year, these are some of the things that we have learned. Uh, and we're just going to go over maybe just a couple of them, right? Because I think they're all mentioned in the comments as low, uh, below as well. And so you can definitely see them there. Or you can go to our website and check it out on our blog as well because they're all there. So one of the things is... Uh, so goals are great. I, I personally have a really hard time of thinking too far down the road. So what works best for me is picking a direction and consistently moving in that direction. Uh, just keeping my eye on the ball and heading that way and everything that I can bring into this vision. If I just want to head in the direction of better connection with customers, then I just bring in all of the stuff that I'm learning so that I can have better connection with customers. So for me, that works a lot better than creating this random goal down the end. That might not hold true for you, but it definitely holds true for me. You want to pick one? Um, Long-term relationships are better than short-term financial gains. So we're really big on, we, don't want to make a million dollars off one person. What we want to do is create great relationships with our clients who are going to then refer us to a million of their friends. <laughs> a million. So, <laughs> our goal is to make sure that people five years, 10 years down the road want to call us back because we did such a good job. We provided a great customer service. We gave them a great paint job and we made their journey really easy to navigate through the process because it can be a lot like we're coming into your home or doing the outside of your home so you have prep or you have all these people around you we've taken over your space so we really want people to have that ability to um really connect with us in our relationships so that when we when they're thinking about things down in the future they're like oh you know that that sunshine girls painting team they were really good and they made our life really simple during the process mm -hmm. and further to that as well um because we don't want to get rich off of any one client that was the one right yeah. um we will actually if i have or tone has overbid something if we can come in under budget we actually will have an invoice that reflects that savings to you. So we don't sit back and go, ha we thought it was going to take two weeks and it only took one week and we're just going to keep all the profits. Uh, we want to say, we bid this wrong. We thought we needed more time and here's some of your money back. Like we're not going to invoice you for time that we're not there because that's how we would want to be treated 
uh, for people if we're doing business with them. For sure. Uh, find time to play. That is a really important that was my one. Next one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do I talk about no, it then? Go ahead. <laughs> Whatever. Um, find time to play. It's just really important. It just I spent an awful lot of time working, 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 and building this relation, this built uh, business, and I found that I didn't have much time to play. And it's just so important to sort of have that balance so that you can appreciate the efforts that you're making in one area because they're paying off in your play area. So that's a big one for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other one is to make sure that you know that not everybody's a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. It is okay to be like, I don't think this is a good fit. Now, whether that is in terms of friendship, in terms of employees, in terms of employers, in terms of, um, oh my goodness. in terms <laughs> of, uh, clients you don't just because somebody wants to hire you doesn't mean you have to work for them it's important to make sure or friends doesn't mean you have to have them it's important to make sure that you take care of yourself and the other people around you so that people are wanting to be around you if you have one toxic apple that keeps making things difficult people are going to want to hang out with you if you keep hanging out with them and it's not good for your life and that goes through business um work all of that stuff so really make sure that you have the right to choose whether it fits for you or not if it doesn't fit for you that's okay. You don't have to keep with it. Yeah. And there have been times that we have done a quote for somebody and it just doesn't feel like it's going to be an easy flow. And we'll just ask to withdraw from the bidding process because we want our interactions with our customers to be good fits. And sometimes it's easier for us to recognize when it's not going to be a good fit. Sometimes it's easier for the customer and that's okay. Uh, but we really want to work with people who are a good fit for us. Uh, what's another one? Um, nothing is personal and everything is personal. You know, somebody said to me one time, um, a business is personal until it goes sideways and then it becomes business. We want to collaborate with our customers. I am personally invested in your satisfaction. I am personally invested in making sure you get the colors that you want, which is why I created um, the color course and help so that it helps people understand how to pick colors so that they can be empowered, that you can be empowered to have the colors that you love in your home. There's no point in having the colors that I love. Uh, you may as well have the ones that you love. And so that is also really, really important to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, last one. Last one. Yeah. All right. How about don't be afraid to do things your way. Just because something is always done a certain way doesn't mean it's the only way or the best way. And, you know, when I started painting, there was things were done a certain way because they worked. But throughout painting, throughout my time painting, I really found different methods and different techniques to do that made the job go a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. And it was just a different way and a faster way. Not saying that the other way was wrong or not right. It's just was became more effective. But just because I did a way that was faster, some of the our staff might find something that's even faster than I did. And that's okay to change things up. There's not one way of skinning a cat. And that's when, a terrible expression. It is, but it's true. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where just because it's said doesn't mean it's gospel. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always different ways to look at it. And when you can see things from different point of views and come at things from a collaborative or a group effort, it really does change how the outcome is and everyone working around it. Like if I had people, you can only do it this way. And this is the only way you can think. And we'd have a terribly, run company because we're not just one person. We are several people. And that is important that those several people are free and caring and understand that they have a voice in the option yeah. and the outcome as well. And that's the way life is. Like, yeah. But it is also really about having the same intention at the end. Yes. Right. Like we are not going to want our staff to just go off willy nilly and do whatever they want because they feel like it. So it's really about creating that culture so that people are on the same page. And so, you know, we our team is really about providing the best service possible. And so if somebody has a better way of providing the best service possible, we are going to listen to them and incorporate that if at all possible. If we disagree with it, then we're going to have to have a conversation about it because if it doesn't serve our end goal, then it's not worth keeping. So that's kind of, there's a whole 20 of them. So you can go to the website, you can check it out, sunshinegirlspainting.com, or you can, uh, I think it's in the notes as well, and you can listen, look at the list and then create one for yourself because reflection is really, really important. Anyway, have a great evening and thank you for letting us take up some of your time and talk your ear off. I really appreciate it. Remember, 
open up your house and let the sunshine in.